him praise because he's worthy. Give him praise because he's holy. He's the king of glory. Ancient of days. Ancient of days. You know, you know, my father in the Lord used to say something. He said, God is always current and God is always correct. God is current and is always correct. That is the God that we serve. He's ancient, but he never reduced in his work. His activities never reduced. You know, as human beings, as we are getting old, our activities will start dropping. That is not God. God is ancient, but he never reduced in activities. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a glorious God we serve. If you know that God, why can't you just go ahead and bless him this afternoon? Go ahead, give him praise. Go ahead, worship him. Go ahead, tell him he's good. Tell him he's the Lord over your life. Tell him he's the king of glory. Tell him he's the ancient of days. Tell him he's the I am that I am. You see, you and me and God knows that without him, I am nothing. He's the bread that I live. You know, just as fish cannot survive outside river, so also no man can survive outside God. That is how much important God is to us. No one can survive outside God. He's the bread that we need. He's the bread of life that was sent from heaven. You know, right from the book of Genesis until he bred into the anointing. Nosery. There was no life in there. In them, oh, chapeau neadosa. That is how important life, that is how important God is to us. Uh, we can't survive without God. Is our daily living, is our daily bread, is our life. Uh, you know, if the fish can't survive outside water, so also no man can survive outside God. That's why I always pity everyone that are turning away from God, everyone that have not come to come to, come to Jesus. They are losing out because no one can survive outside God. No one can live outside God. How can anybody within his frame of mind thinks that he can survive outside his maker how possible how possible can any man survive outside his maker is the maker is the maker he has everything that we need to survive in this world that is why at every point in time we don't joke with god is our life come on give him praise give him praise everywhere worship him because he's the king of kings is the lord of lord is my strong tower is my present help in time of trouble you know is the one that lifted up is the lifter of our soul is the lifter of our head our place of covenant our place of safety the rock that never fails. Why can't you just go ahead and bless the name of this God? You can't be engaging and knocking the gate of heaven every day. Almost getting close to 31 days now. We have been knocking the gate of heaven. And the devil will think that the gate will be shut against us. Hey, devil is always in trouble. When they see children of God gather to pray that is one of the things that god devil fears you know something instead of us to engage with other things god decide to bring prayer to us you know even in our in our devotion as a church at upper room you will discover we find a devotion that is also engaging so that by the time you start your day, you engage heaven. You also in the afternoon we have prayer. This prayer session, Lord, pray hour is also to engage your spirit. And you know what? In our church in Maranatha, we have another prayer time before you go to bed. If you engage in all these three step session, I want to see how the devil wants to defeat you. Can you bless the name of the Lord? I say, Father, thank you. Thank you because you are the rock of my life. You are the strength of my life. You are the shield of my life. You are the reason for my living. You are the lifter of my head. You are the one that answers my prayer. You are the one that gives strength to the stress. You give help to the helpless. You are the father to the fatherless. You are the mother to the motherless. What can you not do, oh God? With my God, all things are possible. In my chapel, in a city, oh, near that. I'm telling you about a God that specializes in doing difficult cases. No matter how difficult your case may be, 
My God can do it. My God can answer you. My God can open ancient doors. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. It is ancient. But you know something? It will take an ancient God to open an ancient doors. Ima shakuna badaba. Ima shakota ndayaba. Ima shakota la. Maybe you have ancient issues in your life. You have things that have been drawing you down. Our ancient God can open that door. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't care how long you have been knocking that door. The ancient God can open ancient doors. The ancient God can open ancient doors. Ancient God can open ancient doors. The ancient God can open ancient doors. The ancient God can open ancient doors. The ancient God can open ancient doors. Ancient door can be lifted. By the power of our ancient God, I want you to write it everywhere you are and say, Asian, my ancient God can open every ancient opportunity in my life in the name of Jesus. Say it, write it. You know why I always want us to write it. You know why I want us to always say it because your confession. Is your possession. Whatever you confess is what you possess. What you have not confessed, you can't possess. Say, my ancient God, we open ancient doors. My ancient God, we open ancient doors. My ancient God, we open ancient doors. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Judy, your ancient door, God, we open every ancient doors of opportunity for you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you are writing it, it's open doors of opportunity. You can't experience what you never believe him to be in your life. If you never see him as someone that can open your door, you can't experience it. Yes, I have been with you, Ami. Your ancient God will open your ancient doors. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, sound here. Uh, ancient door, God. We open your ancient doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Sister Temitopa, your God that is ancient, we open ancient opportunity. Pastor Ta, your God that is ancient, we open ancient opportunity. Jane, your God that is ancient, we open your ancient opportunity. Acquire me, your God, we open an ancient opportunity in the name of Jesus. But Brother Wale, your ancient God, we open an ancient doors. Open all your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Brother Daniel, your ancient God, we open ancient doors over your life, over your children, over your life, over your work. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray and say, ancient door, open every ancient opportunity. Somebody cry to God. We are not here to observe. He did not shout so to, I said, my ancient door, open every ancient opportunity. In the name of Jesus, every ancient door of goodness, of glory that have been shot against me, my ancient God, open them for me in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Oh, Shadi Abakotalia. Yeah, no, Fokotalia, no, Shakotalia. Your ancient God. The ancient God is open and ancient doors. You are Gabalaya Katayaga. Alina Kataba Dabakotolia. Write it, pray it, and say, My ancient God is open ancient opportunities that I have lost in the past. He's opening it for you. This stuff to know. In the name of Jesus, pray it. Pray, write it. Pray it. Say it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because only what you confess, he said, whatever, whatever you say to my ears, he said, whatever you say to my ears, he said, I'm going to hear. Can you talk to God? As ancient God, open every ancient opportunities that I've lost in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. I need you to pray. This is the hour of prayer. Bible said in the book of Acts that the disciple on one their way. 
to the synagogue because it was a time for prayer and they had an encounter with a man that had been at the beautiful day gate for a long time. He met the ancient door. He met the ancient God at the ancient beautiful gate. The Lord can meet you. He's ancient. No doors of opportunity can be shut against the ancient door. Yes, I call to Liaba. A master call to Liaba. Pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Pray for your wife. Pray for your husband. I say, ancient doors, open ancient opportunities that I've lost in time past. So God, open. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. My Lord and my Father, I know this is the way you want to start with all this afternoon. But I pray for everyone connected to this broadcast, including those that we have the record, those that we have the playback. I stand in the name of Jesus. If you can hear me, every ancient doors of opportunity that have been shot against you, my God, your God will open it in the name of Jesus. Every door that have been shot against you, in the Kato Shekotolia, in Manabalia, the ancient door, the ancient God, we open it now. We open it now. As you are writing, amen, the ancient God, open your ancient doors of opportunity in the name of Jesus. He opened it now. 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 No door of opportunity will be shut against you anymore. In the name of Jesus, in my Shakota, in my Ragagada, as you are writing it, your doors of opportunity are open unto you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care how long it has been short, but I have a living God that can open all doors. He opened your doors now. He opened your doors now. He opened your doors now. Enter into your rest. Enter into your rest. Enter into your rest. In the name. Of Jesus, Ayabarosa, Ekosa. Somebody say, I enter into my rest. My rest and doors of opportunity open unto me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you still dis discover that some of your friends and family have not joined, you can still join them. You can still send the link to them, and they can still join us. We have a few more minutes to go. We have 15 more minutes to go so they can still join. You can still share the link with them. Let's look at where we have been considering for the past two weeks now. And that is the place that we are going to pray. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. I feel the anointing in this place. I want us to go back to where we have been reading for the past two weeks now. That is Matthew chapter two, Matthew chapter two, and we are going to take it a little, a little, a little further this afternoon. Matthew chapter two, and I'm going to thank God for what God did yesterday. That it 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 is scattered, and it dislocated all those that gathered against us. It it, it destroyed them, and they are permanently destroyed, and they will never rise again in the name of jesus i want us to just look at two things today two things we are going to pray about and by tomorrow we look at another thing bible said in the book of matthew chapter 2 and i'm going to read verse 9 matthew chapter 2 verse 9 he said after this interview with the wise men went their way and the star they are seen in the in the east guided them to bethlehem i want to take that place again Matthew chapter 2, and I'm reading verse 9. He said, After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them on, guided them to Bethlehem, guided them to their destination. The star they have seen guided them to their destination. The star they have seen guided them to their destination. The star they saw. He was a guide that led them to their destination. The star was a, was, was a direction that led them to their destination. You know something, child of God, we are going to look at two things here. Jesus as a star that leads to, that will guide you 
to your destination. I will also look at you as a star that need other that other people need you to shine for them to rise. And listen to me, some people will not shine until you rise. Some people will not shine until you rise. Some people will not you until you shine. Some people will not rise. It was the star that guided them to their destiny. There are so many lives that are hanging on you. If you fail, they will fail. If you succeed, they will succeed. If the star was not there, they would not have gotten to their destination. Your life is a guide to so many lives. Your star is a guide to so many lives. If you don't shine, some people will not rise. And that is why it's important that you shine. It's important that you rise. It's important that you rise and shine. Because some people will not find their way to destiny if you refuse to shine. If you refuse to shine, so many will not have what it takes to live. Their living is hanging on your destiny. Everybody thought that Lot was important until Abraham left him. Until there was a separation between Abraham and Lot. Nobody knew that he was operating. He was enjoying a cover. When you don't try, so many people will be destroyed. There are some life that is attached to you. The life of your children, the life of your follower, the life of people under you is attached to you. That's why you must shine. I want you to talk to God. Two things we are looking at. I say, Father, make me the rising. Make me shine so that others can shine uh, through me. That is what Jesus came to do. If you check the book of John chapter 1, Bible said, in him, in Christ, was light and that light was what gave life unto all men in him you see in your star there are stars in your star there are people that need to rise that is why you can't watch the devil to destroy your life that is why you can't sit down hey sometimes it takes the devil to take one man to destroy a generation that is why the Bible said, by one man, sin entered into the world. And by one man, man was also saved. Many became cursed. Many operate under curse by one man. And by second Adam, Jesus, we are set free from curse. Generational causes must start from one man. Generational causes must start from one man. And also, by one man, generational blessing can also come. You don't live your life for yourself. You live your life for others. I want you to talk to God. Lord, make my star shine so that everyone can see light from my star. By one man, by first Adam, we all became a sinner. But by second Adam, we all became saved and become righteous through Christ Jesus. By true second Adam, he just take the devil to lay hold on one man to destroy the entire generation. I want you to talk to God. My destiny is secure. My star will shine. And when it's shining, many will see in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir, can you open your mouth and pray? Because we need to look at the second matter here. He must shakoto to liabaha. He must shakoto to liabaha. He must by you, by your star shining, you can guide many to their destination. He bakato shakoto la. He malia da katako to lia. Daddy, you can guide your children to your destination. When your light and your star shine, mommy, you can guide your children to your destination. When your light shine. Brother, your friends, Sakatosha, Ima Sadaya Koshalia, destiny can be guided when your light shine. Can you talk to God and say, Father, make my star shine and let it guide many in the mighty name of Jesus? Lord, let it shine, O God. 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 
Many will not be saved without your salvation. Many need to get saved be your salvation. Some will go to hell because because some people have not been saved. I say, Father, as many that need to see light by the rising of my star, Father, let them begin to see. Bible said he guided them unto Bethlehem. The star guided them. The God instructed them. The star guided them. The God star directed them. I say, Father, everyone that needs to star, everyone that needs to rise for my star, Ela Shakotolia, Ebalaka Sakosa, Ela Ida do Sakotoha, Abale Bale Kotosha, Ela Shadea do Sekota. Hey, pray. Pray, Adosa. Ema Shonia dos Ekotosa. Yama de Adosa. Ah, Sarada. Ema Shakotolia. Pray, pray. Destinies are hiding under your light. Destiny needs to be saved. That is why you can't keep quiet. You can't watch the devil destroying your star. You can't allow the devil to cover that star because many to many needs to rise by your shining life. God has designed life in a way that no man can live life alone. Every man rise by light of another man. Did you get that? No man rises by himself. Every man rises by the air, light of another man. Talk to God and say, Father, help me, O oh God, so that everyone that needs to shine to my rising can shine. That is why you are different. You are a child of God. That is why you are not a burden. You are not feeling threatened. You are not like Herod. You are always ready for people to shine through you. Meaning people can become billionaires through you. People can become, could fulfill their destiny through you. I say, oh Lord, my father, let my star shine so that many can rise from it. In Jesus' name we pray. The last part of that scripture that I told you, they said they saw the star of Jesus and they guided them to their destination, Bethlehem. I told you, we are considering this thing. We have just finished the first phase. The second phase is Jesus as the star. The first phase was you as a star. And Jesus as the star means that he will guide you to your destination. I want you to talk to God. Jesus guided the wise men into their destination. Father, my journey in this world is in your hand. Please guide me to my destination. Lord, my, don't let me miss my way. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you talk to God? I told you that two things we are considering. You as a star that need order, that people order need you to shine. And Jesus as a star that you need to get to your destination. Can you talk to God and say, Jesus, guide my life to your destination, to your, my destination. Guide me, oh God. When my heart is overwhelmed, oh God, lead me to the rock that is higher than me. I say, Jesus, Guide my life to my destination. Guide my life to destination. He got them to where the boy was. He got them to their destination. I said, Jesus, you are the light. You are the bright and morning star. Guide my steps. Guide my decision. Your decision is your, de is your destiny. Your decision is your destiny. It needs to be guided by the Alpha and the Omega. I said, Father, Lord Jesus, you are the bright and honest. Guide my life. Guide the destiny of my life. Guide my destiny. Guide the destiny of my children. Guide the destiny of my wife. Guide the destiny of my husband. Guide the destiny of my church. Guide the destiny of my parents. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Pray. Jesus is the best guide that you need. Jesus is the best guide that you need. Ask him to guide you. He can't guide you and find yourself in Samaria. He did not guide them and they found themselves. He did not lead them and they find themselves in Samaria. They find themselves in Bethlehem because the one that was guiding them was Jesus. Guide my destiny. Even when I sacco, even when the trap is set, Father, guide my destiny. Don't let me fall into it, into the trap of the enemy. 
guide my life. Give me instruction. Give me direction. In the name of Jesus. Eba gaga baka. In a shakosi. Eba la bokota. Ane kotasi. Ema baneada. As the guide of life. I the guide of life. Hey, to guide you. Ask him to guide you. Ask him to guide you. Abada, abada, abada. Guide me into my fulfillment. Guide me into my promised land. Guide my children. Guide my wife. Guide my husband. Guide all my parents in the Lord. Guide, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Guide my physical parent. Guide every of my destiny helper. Guide every of my partners. Guide every member of Covenant Prayers. In a shakotolia, in a sapova da da da, a breaker shakotolia. In a shasitoka, a balakosa da da, a nekosi kada. Hey, pray to God. I said, God, guide my destiny. Hey, shasuta, in a shada, the life that we live. The generation is full of mystery. You need the guide of the Holy Ghost. You need the guide of the Holy Ghost. You need the guide of Jesus to take you to your promised land. After all, the Bible said, it said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want because he led me. He led me. He led me. Only Jesus know where the sun is. Only the star. Only the bright and morning star. Know where the boy is. He is only the one that know where the still waters. You have been doing a lot of things. You need divine guidance to lead you through. Emashakota, Bible said in the book of Psalm, Emashakota, Yaga, Abale Adoshada. He said, Lead me to the way, lead me to the path that leads to way, lead me to the way that leads me on the path that leads to life, lead me on the path that leads to life. You have been doing a lot of things because there is no guide. When God guides you, He guides you beside the still water where you will find water for your soul, where you will find rest for your life. I say, Father, in business, guide me. In a shakoto liaba, a ba 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 ba, a da 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 da, a lekoto shada, a ma ba la ba la ba, in a shada ba da. He needs to guide you so that you don't do business as usual, so that you don't make it pawn. I've been lost in business because the Lord never guided you. If Jesus guide you, He won't guide you to Samaria. He will guide you to your Bethlehem, where the boy is, where the promise her. Where the promise are, where is still water is. Talk to God and say, Father, guide me. Guide my destiny. Guide my destiny to where the still waters. Guide my destiny. Oh God, guide my destiny. Are you praying to God? I said, guide my destiny. Oh Lua, my Jesus, Lua. My Jesus, my Sakota. You know, my mother used to say. The difference between life and death is the step that will lead to where the still waters are. Father, guide me there. That will lead to where I will find joy for my soul. He guided them and they find themselves in Bethlehem, not in Samaria. When he guides you, you will find yourself in Samaria, they find themselves in where the boy was. They find themselves in the green pasture. They find as well where there are still waters, where they can drink for their soul. Maybe why you have been getting lost in that business is because you have never allowed the leading of the Holy Ghost. You have not allowed the leading of God. You have not allowed to allow Jesus to direct you. They allowed the star to lead them and they got to their destination. Everyone that allowed Jesus to lead them, we always get to their destination. Bible said in the book of Ecclesiastes, it said a dead, a, a, a foolish man led himself astray and he was blaming God. You can't talk, can't take credit. God can't be blamed for the, for the journey you took by yourself that you never consulted him. And he want you to talk to God and say, oh my father, lead me through. Lead me through. That is what is called divine guidance. Yeah, they allow the star to lead them, and the star led them, and they got to their destination. When you allow Jesus to lead you, you will surely get to your destination. Jesus, I leave it for you, and I want you to lead me. Lead my children. Guide their step. Guide their journey. Oluwa magekon shesegbe oluwa. 
Ima sako to liadaha. Ema sako to liabaha. See them through the journey of life. Life is a journey, and they, no one has finished the race. Let me tell you this, people of God. Life is a journey, and the only person that has finished the journey of life is God. So he can tell you the next place where you will see the potholes. Kadosh. Because he has walked through the life. No man has walked through life, only God. That is why at every point in time, you must allow him to guide you. He has walked through the life. No man, no man has walked through the end of life, but God has done that. That is why he can tell you there is still water there. Go and take it. There is an opportunity there. Go there. There is an opportunity. There is an opening there. Go there. There is an opportunity. There is a job opening. There is something. He said he lead me beside the still waters. He has walked through life. So he knows where there is where there are potholes and he knows where there are opportunities. I pray in the name of Jesus as we bring these brokers to a close this afternoon. Father, is our long desire, Lord, that you will guide our steps. You will guide our decision. You will guide everything we do. You will lead us through in the name of Jesus. In as you are writing amen and you are saying amen, the Lord will lead you through. The Lord will guide your step in the name of Jesus. You will not miss steps in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not miss calculated in the name of Jesus. He will guide you, He will teach you, He will direct you, He will instruct you in the name of Jesus. That place that is called where there is still water, sir. That place where there are treasure, where the king is, sir. The Lord will lead you there. In your business, the Lord will lead you. The Lord will lead your children. The Lord will lead your spouse. In the name of Jesus, pastor, sir, your church will be led by God. In the name of Jesus, sir, you will not be lost in the wilderness of life. You will not get lost in the wilderness of life. You will not get lost in the wilderness of life. You will not get lost in the wilderness of life. There is lifting for you because God is your guide. Because the star is your leader. You will lead. It will lead you. It will guide you. It will lead you. It will guide you. It will lead you. It will guide you. It will show you the path that leads to life. He said, the Lord will show me the path that leads to life. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and say thank you to Jesus. Just go ahead and say thank you to Jesus. He said, you will hear a voice behind you. This is the way. He said, you will hear a voice. He will tell you the business to do. So that you don't just venture in all business that is not in line with your destiny. You will hear a voice behind you. This is the way. Just say thank you to Jesus. Just say, go ahead and say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Amazing, 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 amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my love, for what you have done. Thank you for our rising. And thank you for star Jesus guiding us to our promised land. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want to celebrate you for joining us today. And I say God bless you. Most especially those that have been joining us and they have been sharing the link with friends and family. The Lord will double your blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Of course, we have the record of today's section. We have the record of this, today's section. If you are interested, just private chat me and I will going to make it available for you in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow, tomorrow, let me tell you what will happen tomorrow. Bible said, that's the last section that we are going to be considering from the book of Matthew. You know, for the past two weeks, we have been considering this, the star of Jesus. And man, you as a star too. And last day, tomorrow will be the last day of considering this. And you know what is going to happen tomorrow? Tomorrow, we are going to look at Bible said, and they came from afar. They came from afar. We are going to look at the mission. The mission, what the wise men came to do. is going to be hot out here tomorrow. Don't miss it. Invite your friends and family. God bless you. I love you dearly. See you tomorrow. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Mommy Pastor, thank you, Ma. I celebrate you, Ma. Thank you for being there always. Sister Kike, amen to your prayer. 
Amen. And God bless you too. Brother Leke, God bless you. I love you dearly. I love you sincerely. Sister Stella, God bless you. Oh, Pastor Rachel, God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ella Shekotolea Dosha. Ena Sister Opeyemi. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And I wish you the same. Mama, Mama Gladys. God bless you, ma. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Savior. We Ella Shekotolea. Ella Shak. Amen. Amen, sir. My friend and my brother, Evangelist Emmanuel. God bless you, sir. Amen. Pastor Femi, God bless you. Sister Adieko, God bless you. I celebrate you. E Kato Shadia. Roshegun, God bless you. Amen. My regards to your family. We miss them. The whole Kato Shenda Endo Sokotolia. Mashe Kotolia. Brother Wali, God bless you. In the name of Jesus, I celebrate you. The latest man, husband man in town, Brother Sheon Collins. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Thank you for joining us today. E Shakatosh Enda Osata. We say thank you to you, Jesus. We return glory to you, Lord, for what you have done in our life today.